Debbie, how is Jo? Jo's fine. He's <clears throat> just getting over <laughs> surgery that he had just today, but he's fine. Thank you so much for coming on. Uh, you've got a statement from Wealdon District Council. I have, actually. It says the council seeks to support families who need to provide extended care facilities, but the re uh, erection of a new bungalow would be intrusive and in direct conflict with existing policies. We have a duty to balance any proposals for new development with the strongly held wishes of the community in Wealdon to protect our rural environment. The council has made it clear that they are prepared to negotiate with Joe and his family. On Facebook at the moment, there's uh, about 140,000 people supporting Joe. There's a 7,000 named petition. We invited the council to come on the show. They declined. Their head of press, Jim Vandenbos, actually said, we don't talk to entertainment shows like yours. Well, actually, Mr Vandenbos, I've got a message for you. Don't... Th simply think this is an entertainment show and decide then that you don't want to talk to us. Because Mark Prince and the fight against knife crime didn't just turn around and dismiss us as an entertainment show. Actually, I created this show. I do not get paid a penny to do this show. I decided, no fee, I wanted to put my heart and soul into it because I want to fight people like you and your council. Because I think you're at the heart of what is wrong with this country. If... Excellent. And do you know something? Yeah. And do you know something, Mr. Van and Bose? Mr. Van and Bose and Wealdon District Council, I know I'm right. Nick Clegg, he's behind us. David Cameron has given us a statement. And wait for this Wealdon District Council and Mr. Van den Bose, who would sneer at what we're doing here, because you're sneering at millions of other people in this country. Just remember, by the way, you're a public servant. Who pays your money? <laughs> just, just before we came on the air, we contacted the Prime Minister's office. The Prime Minister, Gordon Brown, said, quote, the whole country owes Joe a huge gratitude for the sacrifice he has made for our country. Yeah. It is unacceptable that he is being stopped from having the home of his choice. Wealdon District Council must do the right thing immediately and reconsider this case, unquote. I, I make no excuse for talking in such a passionate way. I can't remember feeling this angry, and I've never been this angry in a studio. Wealdon District Council, I don't know when the uh, elections are up, but the people of the area hopefully will have their say, and maybe they'll be advertising for a new press officer soon. I want to end this on an up note, because we will get what Joe wants. And in the meantime, I wanted to give you a gift from us to Joe. I know he loves the great outdoors. We did a little bit of research so I know this is what he would want. It is oh, a state-of-the-art all-terrain wheelchair. It's it is the latest. It's carbon fibre, aluminium. It's so Thank he can you. get Thank out you. and about. Thank you very much. Because, Debbie, believe me, we might not always believe in what goes on overseas, but when we stop respecting the ladies and gentlemen of our armed forces, this country really is in a shocking state. Yeah. See you after the break. Yeah.